Now, before you buy any specific electronic device like a smartphone or a laptop, it's very important that you know the battery cycle count. This is basically the number of times that the battery has been charged from zero all the way to 100. So if your phone was flat and you charge it all the way to 100, that's one cycle count. If you were to charge your phone all the way to 50%, and later on charge it from 50 to 100 that's one cycle count so a cycle count is one complete charge because your battery is basically designed to retain a certain percentage of its original capacity with each cycle count that comes so for example for iphone owners it's designed to retain up to 80 percent of its original capacity at 500 complete charge cycles so after perhaps 500 charge cycles if you have a phone you might be looking forward to replacing your battery so basically if your phone is around 500 then you expect its battery capacity to be around 80 percent and then if you have a watch like an apple watch basically 1000 uh, complete charges will give you like 80 percent of its original capacity and then it goes on with the macbook it has 1000 complete charges that will give you around about 80 percent of its original capacity so if you have a phone that has over 500 charge cycles you're probably looking forward to replacing your battery or servicing your battery because you're probably starting to notice that it's starting to drop below that peak value so i'm going to be showing you how you can find the cycle count on your iphone this is something that not many people know and it's a hidden feature and i'm sure this can guide you to be able to tell how much life you have in your phone's battery or whether you want to buy a used smartphone or electronic device it will be helpful if you check the cycle count this is going to be our test phone it's the iphone x it's quite an old phone and so we expect the battery cycle count to be quite high and also if we go into the settings and then go to battery and then select battery health we can see that the battery health is around 88 percent which is quite low as you might expect apple expects you to start replacing or servicing your battery at 80 percent so we still have um eight percent left and at around about 500 battery cycle counts from the apple website we expect to be at around 80 percent so our battery cycle counts should be around in the 400s or close to the 500s so let's go ahead and see how you can check your battery cycle count on the iphone so what you do is go to settings and then go to privacy and then scroll all the way down to analytics and improvements and then select analytics data and then we want to look for log aggregate the latest profile that's there so here we have log power and then just above log power we have the latest profile that is log aggregate and it has a specific date so we want to choose the latest log aggregate profile that's there and then we open that profile so if your phone is able to you can basically copy all this text and paste it in the notepad and then once you do that you can easily search for battery cycle count but when i do this with this iphone x it basically freezes and crashes the settings app so it just goes to show that it's not really powerful enough to do this but i found a quicker way to be able to find the battery cycle count so as you can see i've selected everything but it won't give me the option to actually copy the selected text and then if i go out of the settings and come back it still does the same thing until the settings app basically crashes so that's what it does that's the settings app it just crashed so what you can do if your phone is also doing this is just go into the settings and then again go to privacy and then scroll all the way down to analytics and improvements and then analytics data and then scroll all the way to log aggregate that is the latest log aggregate profile that we have on file here and then what you want to do is scroll all the way down 
to about three quarters of your screen so i marked it just here so you want to scroll all the way down till you reach about this point and it sort of aligns with this iphone text that's behind the iphone so you have this cursor in the top corner that guides you and shows you where you are as you scroll down so just scroll down to about three quarters on the screen and then you'll be able to see your battery cycle count so drag that cursor all the way down so as you reach to about three quarters uh, down the screen just slow down and then you should start to see some statistics that has to do with battery and power and then you can zoom in and see if you see the battery cycle count as for me there is the battery cycle count so as you can see my battery cycle count is 516 and i have about 88 percent of the battery maximum health capacity so not too bad and it just goes to show that i've charged this phone from zero all the way to 100 516 times so that's how you do it on the iphone so yeah that's about it for me when it comes to the battery cycle count of your smartphone and laptop i hope you find this information helpful in being able to tell how uh, good your battery cycle count is and how much life you have and also this is information that can help you if you're looking forward to buying a used smartphone or laptop if you have any questions do reach out in the comment section below and thank you very much for watching if you like the video leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you get the latest videos as soon as we release them thanks for watching once again stay safe and i will see you in the next one Peace.